ऑनरेबल जस्टिस भी गोवाला गौड़ा साहब का लीगल ओपिनियन और हम जो पोजिशन पेपर दिए थे 2018 में ट्वेंटी फर्स्ट लॉ कमीशन को वो सब ये बता रहा है कि यूसीसी की इस देश को जरूरत नहीं है अगर आपको मेरी बात का यकीन नहीं है तो जस्टिस बी एस चौहान जो ट्वेंटी फर्स्ट लॉ कमीशन में क्या बोले थे वो भी सुन लो आप वरना आप लोग ब्रेकिंग न्यूज बोल के ओएसी को सूली पे चढ़ा देंगे कल्चरल डायवर्सिटी कैनॉट बी कॉम्प्रोमाइज टू द एक्सटेंट डेट आवर अर्ज फॉर यूनिफॉर्मिटी इन इट सेल्फ बिकम द रीजन फॉर थ्रेट टू दिटोरियल टेरिटोरियल इंटीग्रिटी ऑफ द नेशन इतना बड़ा स्टेटमेंट जस्टिस बी एस चौहान दिए थे अब जस्टिस वी गोपाला गौड़ा साहब को हम चार क्वेश्चन पूछे नंबर वन क्वेरी था आप मैं टाइम बचाने के लिए मैं आपको उसका आप खुद पढ़ लो वो चार क्वेरीज क्या थे एक था व्हाट इज द स्कोप ऑफ आर्टिकल 44 ऑफ कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन ऑफ इंडिया एंड वेदर द पार्लियामेंट इन एक्सरसाइज ऑफ पावर अंडर रेलिवेंट एंट्री नंबर फाइव ऑफ कंकरेंट लिस्ट ऑफ शेड्यूल सेवन शेड्यूल ऑफ कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन कैन ब्रिंग रिफॉर्म्स ऑफ पर्सनल लॉज बी जस्टिफाइड दो द सेट आर्टिकल स्पेसिफिक लिमिट एम बेट तो ऐसे ही हम लोग सेकेंड क्वेश्चन क्वेरी पूछे थे वेदर क्वालिफाइंग सर्टन एस्पेक्ट्स ऑफ पर्सनल लॉज ऑफ सर्टन कम्युनिटीज ऑन बेस ऑफ प्रपोज लॉ कमीशन कंसल्टेशन पेपर एंड कंसल्ट आर्टिकल 44 फोर एंड सेम आर वायोलेशन ऑफ फंडामेंटल राइट गारंटी आर आर्टिकल ट्वेंटी फोर एंड ट्वेंटी थर्ड हमारा क्वेरी था वेदर क्वालिफाइंग पर्सनल लॉज अंडर द गाइज ऑफ आर्टिकल फोर्टी would not impact the pluralism within these minority groups religious groups such as sikhs buddhists and jains who are governed by provision hindu law fourth whether uniform civil code as contemplated in article 44 of the constitution of india would not adversely impact the legal status of hindu undivided family as provided in hindu law fifth tha whether the statutory enactment of uniform civil code by uttarakhand state in exercise of legislative power would not be contrary to article 44 of the constitution of india as a jurisdiction throughout the territory of india to ye pehle last question jo hai na aap usko pehle le lete hain jo uttarakhand ka aajkal bahut wo chal raha hai honorable justice v gopala gowda retired sahab kya bol rahe can a state make a law state man state government make a law on you, on, on ucc Uniform civil code essential refers to a common set of laws governing personal matters such as marriage, divorce, adoption, inheritance, and succession, as per Schedule Seven of the Constitution. Such subjects come in concurrent list entry number five, wherein powers to legislate vest with both Parliament and state legislatures. Accordingly, the state legislature may introduce amendments to the personal laws enacted by Parliament, but it cannot be stressed to include that enactment of UCC for a particular state. So, Uttarakhand ka UCC nahi bol sakte usko. If Uttarakhand or any state government brings any such legislation, it will require presidential assent under Article 254 of the Constitution of India. UCC in Article 44 of the Constitution mandates UCC throughout the territory of India, which was confirmed by the then Law Minister in February 2022. This constitutional position is further con confirmed by the manifestos released by political parties. For instance, UCC was a part of a manifesto of 2009 general elections. but was not specifically highlighted in the manifesto of the party of uttarakhand assembly election therefore i am of the view that uttarakhand state government enacting the statutory enactment uniform civil code is not sustainable in law ye ab aapko jo char question queries jo hum puche the usme se important mai aapko bata dena cha raha hu jisme gopala gowda sahab wahi baat bole jo hum apne note mein diye के बाबा साहब अम्बेडकर क्या बोले थे आर्टिकल आ, 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 जब आ, ये आर्टिकल 44 आर्टिकल 35 था डिबेट हो रही थी फिर उन्होंने ये भी उसमें लिखे अपने ओपिनियन में श्री बी एन राव द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल एडवाइजर टू द कॉन्स्टिट्यूट असेंबली स्टेटेड डायरेक्टिव प्रिंसिपल्स आर इंटेंडेड एज मॉरल परसेप्ट फॉर द अथॉरिटीज ऑफ द स्टेट दे हैव एटलीस्ट एन एजुकेटिव वैल्यू द ग्रेट जूरिस आईवर जनिंग स्टॉट देवर ओनली पायस एस्पिरेशन फिर जस्टिस वी गोपाल गौड़ा से द आइडिया टू अडॉप्ट वन कोर्ट फॉर ऑल पर्सनल लॉज ऑफ कंसिडर एंटोगनिस्टिक टू आर्टिकल 19 दैट इज एट प्रेजेंट आर्टिकल 25 सेकेंडली उन्होंने ये भी बोले सेवरल 
Articles, Article 15, 1, 16, 25, 26, 29 are embedded in the Constitution with clear intention to protect religious freedom and customary rights. Likewise, Article 26 of the Constitution ensures the freedom to manage the affairs of religion. Article 29 defines the right to conserve a distinctive culture. Our important point, jo, uh, Honorable Justice V. Gopala Gauda sahab, humar, humar legal opinion mein ye bhi diye. Judgments ka hawala deke wo hi bole. Perusing this judgment, it's obvious that the court has absolutely no idea. Ye ek judge likh raha hai. Perusing these judgments, it is obvious that the court has absolutely no idea what a UCC looks like and what such a court should do. In each case, it has been offered as a panacea for a particular issue with which the court was faced. As though the only problem with India's personal law is not their misogyny or obsolence, but the lack of uniformity. The court in all these cases cling to Constitutional Directive Article 44 as it were a clear articulation of the idea what UCC is. Pyru Justice Gopala Gauda sahab 371A, 371G ka hawala diye, Nagaland, Mizoram ka. Aur phir, e apne opinion mein, Justice Honorable Gopala Gauda sahab ye bhi diye likhe hai, even the Hindu court, mein isko, uh, uh, chodron bhoosi jana pad sakte baad mein, even the Hindu court which sought to create a uniform law governing all Hindus, is not uniform. Even the Hindu code which sought to create a uniform law governing all Hindus is not uniform in some of the most fundamental, fundamental aspects of family law. The validity of marriage is linked to the customs and ceremonies of the particular community. The inheritance rights of the members of family is different for communities in Kerala and Tamil Nadu. Who is capable of being adopted also depends on the custom and usage. The Hindu Minority and Guardianship Act 1956 does not automatically apply to members of scheduled tribes. The claim that since Hindus, ab jo claim karte, ye, UCC na bolke. The claim that since Hindus are governed by uniform law, why not everyone else falls flat? Why not everyone, everyone else? Jo bolte, it falls flat at the very first step. The law is not uniform for all Hindus in the first place. While no doubt the Hindu code makes several aspects of Hindu personal uniform, it leaves custom and local practice undisturbed in several aspects. Ab BJP ke BUC ke bolte, Portuguese po hai na, Goa mein hai. Even the much touted example UCC, the Portuguese Civil Procedure Act 1939, applicable to all communities in Goa, is may be exception hai. Kya exception hai? It has different rules for Catholics, different rules for other communities, and it even recognizes bigamy for Hindus. Agar koi Hindu uh, lady ko 25 or 30 saal ke daran beta nahi hua, to unke husband second shadi kar sakte goa mein. Ye usme hai. If UCC, uh, Justice V. Gauda sahab likh rahe, if UCC is really about uniformity, it will remove the requirement of religious ceremonies for the validity of marriages, abolish the concept of co parsonary property, and remove all distinctions between converts and non-converts over the inheritance property. Dekho, aap remove distinctions between converts. Hindu marriage law mein divorce ka ground hai ka agar ke husband and wife convert ho gai. Wo divorce ka ground hai. Divorce ka ground hai ho bhi. If uniformity in all respects is not desirable, then that is an acknowledgement of the folly of promoting UCC with understanding the specifics of what it entails. If the goal is to address iniquities in personal law of different religions, such iniquities must be addressed on their own terms instead of demanding adherence to UCC. Whether it is the courts, the concert assembly, or even those who are proposing the UCC as a panacea to gender inequality in laws or, na or national integrity, no one seems to have a clear conception of what a court would actually look like. So, yeah.